how is the new license model for Microsoft Teams rooms looking as it is right now, since Microsoft recently changed the way that they do the license model on the Microsoft Teams rooms. So let's dig into how it was until recently, where you had the standard license for $15 per meeting room, or at least for the Teams rooms. This was basically everything that you needed to have a Microsoft Teams rooms running. You would be able to install it. You had the complete licensing for both single screen and dual screen, and you even had the Intune license as well. So basically the standalone license was the one that people used when they didn't want it to do their own management of the Teams rooms. And then if you want to have Microsoft managing your meeting rooms, they would usually use the Teams rooms premium. So the premium license was at $50 per meeting room per month, or at least for every time that you wanted to set up a shared devices, you would need to have the premium license and basically what it meant that it was everything included from the standard license, but Microsoft would do the management and you would have that premium support from Microsoft and then also the AI intelligence between behind Microsoft. So basically they would be able to help you before the issue appeared in your meeting rooms. So how it's gonna look in the future, or actually how it looks right now is, so the announcement, it's just come out and it is actually from the 1st of September that they changed the rules. So basically what we will have now is that there will be an option to have a basic license and you will be able to have up to 25 licenses in each tenant. So basically this would mean as if you're a small uh, company organization, you would be able to add this basic license to the meeting rooms without paying anything. So the first 25 licenses are free of charge. It is also basic. So as the license says, it is a basic license, which will mean that there is no internal licenses. It's only one screen. So a single screen installation. So if you want to go with the dual screen installation, you will need to go with the pro license. Basically what it will mean is that it is a really basic license that will make sure that your Teams rooms will be up and running, but you will need to do the management by yourself and you will not have the enhanced features from Microsoft. And then if we take the next steps into, uh, sorry, so this is how it could look like. Simple setup, it could be either Teams rooms on Windows, Teams rooms on Android, but a simple setup with a single screen. Next one up is the Teams Rooms Pro, which is $40 per month. And if you do an annual commitment, it's around 33.5 US dollars. You'll still be able to use your 25 basic licenses. So that is not a thing that you would need to go with the Pro license for all of your meeting rooms. It will still be possible to run the 25 licenses on the basic license, which is free of charge. If you have more than 25 rooms, you would need to add pro licenses to those rooms. So for 26 rooms plus, you would need to add a pro licenses. Will there be anyone that will use a basic license and a pro license in the same environment? Probably yes, but it's really not the intention since the pro license will add these additional features that will make a great improvement for you. So. If I have an enterprise setup, you want to do management of your systems, then you would need to go with a pro license since this license include an internal licenses and you will be able to have this advanced meeting feature. So dual screen, front row that like Microsoft talks a lot about and basically another lots of stuff. So all the engineering will be put into the pro licenses and there you will see the added features moving forward. So front row could be one of them. It could basically also be a dual screen setup, both Android and Windows. And if you wanted to have them, uh, or if you're using Endpoint Manager already, you would need to go with a pro license. What about the personal licenses? Well, it's basically not allowed to use due to the licenses 
for the laws or rules in the license model, E3, E5 license have not been allowed to be used for quite a while. It does work, but it's not allowed. Future-wise, it will definitely not be possible to use. So the E3 and the E5 license is a personal license to be used for a person and not in shared environments. Moving forward, there will be a notification inside of Teams Admin Center that this is not the correct license that you would use. And moving forward, there will also be an indication on the Teams rooms itself. And then we come to an end. So by June 30th next year, so 2023, the system will not be able to sign in if you're using a personal license. So please be aware of that change the license model as soon as possible to Teams Rooms Pro or the Teams Rooms Basics if you don't need that advanced features and want to do the management by yourself. But after June 30th, it will not be able to sign in. So the transition to the new licenses, just to be aware that first of all, if you have an EA agreement with Microsoft, either for one year or three years, you will still be able to use that license. So if you have the standard license or the premium license, you will be able to have that license model until the end of the commitment. So basically it would mean that there will be maybe people using the standard and the premium license the next three years if they just signed an EA agreement for three years. Next you would need to take an active decision on which license that you would need to use. So there won't be anything happening automatically. You would need to take the decision and place an order for the new license. So this is an overview from Microsoft on what the Teams Rooms Basic license actually include and the Teams Rooms Pro license. So. There is some things that I was not totally, or it was not totally clear on the start, but I asked Microsoft and they came back with a good explanation. So join meeting across Teams clouds. The question was then, are we then not allowed to call to another tenant? So cross organizations? Yes, you are still, but you would not be able to uh, call from a commercial cloud into a secure cloud. So basically, if you're having a secure cloud GCC, then you would not be able to call across clouds either to the commercial or vice versa. Next one then, the room check-in. So the Teams panel, the booking panels outside of the meeting rooms that are included in the Teams Rooms Pro. To my knowledge, it's not included in the Basic Pro. There's no really anything yet to my understanding that is public about the license model for the Teams panel in the basic license, but you will need to think that that is not included. Share whiteboard. So if you're using the good old whiteboard in your meeting rooms and you have that content camera on top of it that captures the whiteboard, that would need to go with a pro license as well. Front row which are one of the features that Microsoft speaks quite a lot about right now, only included in the Pro license. So if you want to go with the front row experience, then you would definitely need to go with a Pro license as well. Split gallery across two screens. Yes, back to single screen. That is the only thing that is included in the basic license. So if you go with a dual screen, either to have the front row across two screens or to have the split gallery across two screens or even just to have the gallery in one screen and the content on another screen then you would need to go with the pro license next up is pstn calling and that was also one of the questions that we had was that pstn calling what does that actually mean just be aware that pstn calling is walking into a meeting room doing ad hoc phone call. So hit the dial and do a phone call for the Teams rooms. That is PS10 calling. You will still be able to join a Teams meeting uh, from a phone as long as the license include that and that 
both the basic and the uh, Teams Rooms Pro does that. One of the things that I am really interested in is inbound and outbound zip calling. I think that would be a great add-on to the Microsoft Teams Rooms, being able to call that legacy video conference out there. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Nothing is available yet. It is still in the engineering. Um, next up is multi-stream support for intelligent cameras. So once again, this is a more advanced features from the Teams Rooms, uh, the intelligence behind the cameras where we can do people framing. So a lot of different people in the same room, but instead of capturing the whole meeting room, then we would be able to frame each individual and then put in the button of, for instance, Microsoft Front Row. Multi-camera support, that is right now only supported by Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows. It will need a pro license to go with that as well. Noise suppression recently rolled out to a lot of the Teams rooms. I think it's a great feature that you can have that option to change the noise suppression to give a better experience in the meetings. Actually not in the meeting rooms, but with those that you have the call with. The people counting, if you want to have some advanced features of how the usage of your meeting rooms is that would also need to go into the pro license. Another thing, and that is really, really important. There's no internal license in the basic. So if you want to do management or if you turned on endpoint manager, then you would need to go with the pro license as well. So just to summarize some of the features and most important, there might be others, but this is, uh, from my understanding, uh, some of the things that is most important to be aware of. Room check-in, the Teams panel is part of the Pro license, probably not in the basic. Uh, dual screen, single screen. So single screen, you would need to, or would be able to use the basic license, the Pro license is for dual screen. So if you want to go with a dual screen solution, need to go with a pro and then of course also endpoint managing endpoint manager so having that option of actually managing all your systems that will need to go with the pro license as well so that was everything from this short video about the new license model from microsoft teams rooms i hope that it gave a better understanding of the license model i will link microsoft block in the comments so you can go in and read all the knowledge from microsoft about the new license model thank you so much for watching see you out there bye